A crisis can knock at the door at any moment. Psychotherapist Nivedita Singh says cultivating an optimistic mindset can have immense benefits. Let's play a game called good news, bad news. So you tell me a couple of things that aren't going well and I'll help you figure out the optimistic way of looking at it. So you start with something like the bad news is I have not completed my assignment. And I say, and the good news is that you woke up at 5.30 a.m. to try and complete it. And you say, the bad news is that I slept at 3.30 a.m. And I say, the good news is that you now know you can keep awake that late. And you say, the bad news is I will be tired and sleepy in the office today. And I say, and the good news is that there's a weekend coming up and you can sleep in late on Saturday. You say, but the bad news is there's a cricket match I want to watch on Saturday. And I say, and the good news is that you can set the match for recording and watch it later. You know, you can carry on this game till you want to. So you see, if you have an optimistic mindset, you can see the silver lining in every situation. Instead of staying stuck by saying yes, but, you can be more solution-oriented. Nivedita says an optimistic mindset makes you solution-oriented. In fact, she believes moments of crisis can be new opportunities for learning and growth. It is important to be opportunity-seeking to be able to live a fulfilling life. You know, clients come to me not only to help them manage their problems better, but also to help them live more fully. Now, for example, Arjun, my client, he's a computer programmer. He came to me because he said he was tired of sitting behind the computer all day and felt alive only when he was with people. Now, the job was well-paying, so he did not want to give it up. But also, he wanted to be, you know, he wanted to live up to his potential. When asked when was the last time he had been excited about something, he said it was, you know, when he was teaching his little nephew the basics of computers. On sitting together and brainstorming, he decided to dedicate the small room in his house to teaching neighborhood children computer skills. You know, the venture slowly picked up momentum and in a year, Arjun became so successful and sought after that today he has a full-fledged institute of his own and has given up his job behind the desk. Did you know that humans use less than 10% of their potential? Seeking out opportunities make you live more fulfilling lives and aligns your strengths to your interests. So give yourself a chance to follow your heart, to tap your potential and seek out opportunities. Seeking out opportunities makes you live a more fulfilling life. And often, you have to grab them, says entrepreneur Ankur Variku. Here's the deal with awesome opportunities. They don't come with the subject line, awesome opportunities. It's only in hindsight do you recognize that an opportunity was great for you or not. So I remember one such instance for me which changed my life. I am catching up with a friend of mine from business school. I'm in the middle of a really rewarding consulting profession. And he speaks about the startup that he started. And I love the idea. And he says, do you want to join me? And I was like, look, man, I'm enjoying so much in my consulting job that I think it'll be foolish for me to leave all of that and just join you. But I don't want to say no to this opportunity. So why don't I, in whatever part-time capacity I can, help you? And that's what I did for the next one year. I was during the day with my consulting job and whatever time was left out of that was a part-time entrepreneur. I did that for a year to the point that the startup grew up to a good size and scale. And that's when I quit consulting, took an 80% pay cut and joined this startup. And that is the beginning of my entrepreneurial journey. And I've never looked back since then. And I recognize that so many people in my position would not have perhaps taken this opportunity because they just felt, no, it's not in line with what I'm doing, but that's the beauty of what life continuously on a daily basis throws at you, knocks at you, and now it's your job to react or to be like, 
this is what I'm doing and I'm going to say no to everything else. An opportunity to learn something new is all yours if you approach it with an optimistic mindset. We hope you're staying safe at home and wearing a mask every time you step out.